Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Are you looking for a simple yet sturdy sewing machine? Well, I bought this Brother XL2610 online from Joanne Fabrics, uh, oh, a little over a year ago, almost a year and a half. And this thing has been a complete workhorse. I love it. It was $100 delivered to my home and I have used it to make costumes, to mend things, to sew things from jeans, to little nylon things, for things for camping. And I have used this like, it is incredible how sturdy this little machine is. So if you're looking for a inexpensive, long-lasting machine for just doing their everyday sewing, Look for the Brother XL2610. Let me show you a few of the features. I have stored it in the box simply because I do not have a dedicated sewing place. So I can toss it in the box with a few accessories and stuff it in the back of the closet. One of the things I always store with it is a power strip. That way, no matter where I want to plug it in, even if there's not an empty... Um, outlet, I can plug that in and plug back in any lamp or anything else that I need at the same time. It came with this little pouch and all of these little tools, which is handy that it came with extra needles and things, and it came with a book that showed you what everything was, and it was extremely simple and easy to follow. It also came with this slide-in um, part here that you can snap it in so you have a larger sewing surface and you can store all of the gear and tools from the little pouch in there. I don't ever use that when I'm sewing, it just doesn't seem necessary, but it's handy that it gave me a spot to store things. I just keep the tools in here, you can see how nicely they fit, and you could slide it on there, but I just keep it in the box came with a nice set of directions which are extremely clear and easy to understand. When I put it away, I simply wrap the cords around it. So let me show you. I'm going to unwrap and show you how to plug it in and how it works. The cord simply plugs in here on the back just push it in, you can hear it click, and it has two cords. One of the cords leads to the foot pedal, so then you put that on the floor below your machine. The other half of the cord is the electrical cord, and you plug that straight into your outlet, or I'm going to plug it into my power cord. Once you plug it in, you hit the switch, and it's on. You can tell it's on because the light is on. Place the pedal on the floor with the larger end going away where your toe of your foot is and the lower end by your heel. Then when you're ready to sew, you simply step on it with your toe and that's how you operate your machine. Look at all the stitching patterns that you can do. And it even does buttonholes, which I've made some buttons and they were totally fine. The uh, Numbers tell you, like this says 2, so you would come over here and you would set this on 2. This one says 15, or no, 13, so you would come over here and set it on 13. You just turn the dial to get the one that you want. I mostly just do it on 2, it's straight, or 3 that zigzag. I know it has all the others, but I'm only really interested in 2 and 3, and it completely does what I like. It makes buttonholes, it's so straight, and it zigzags. And I guess I did use uh, four, I think, or five to put in a blind hem. And that totally works as well, too. It's so simple. This is a very simple sewing machine, and it can do any basic thing that you want to do. If you want your stitches, like say you want to do a buttonhole, it has one and then it tells you the other things, and that's when you would turn this one in here to do the other parts. 
It's so simple. It even has directions right here on the top to show you how to wind the bobbin. These are the bobbins that it takes. It says 66, 12 class 66 bobbins. So they're little clear things. They're kind of oval, curvy, and that's what they look like. So when you want to wind the bobbin, you stick the bobbin right on here. Then whatever thread you want to use, it doesn't matter, you come to this little knob and you wind it to the back. Then you take your thread and you stick it up into one of the little holes. That's the hardest part, getting the thread through the little hole. Okay, then you slide this over and then you step on your pedal. Hold the thread and step on the pedal. Then you can see the part you were putting through needs to be trimmed off and the rest of the thread is going on to the bobbin. It's so simple. So take your scissors, trim that extra lead thread off, and then trim your bobbin to release it from your thread. And you're ready to thread your machine and begin to sew. Threading is simple because it has all the directions. You simply pull out your thread, and then you come along the back and pull it down through this big metal opening. Then you come down on this side and up on this side. Then when you get it through here, you maneuver this so that it goes through the little hook there. See? Now you bring it down and you can thread your needle. So you want to move the, oops, move the arm so the needle is up. And you simply want to thread it. It goes from the front to the back. Now, let me zoom in here. Do you see how that works on here? You simply go under and through this little hole. That's the only part that could be at all tricky. And then down the front. To load your bobbin, you push, see this little square? You push it back and this pops out. And there are, guess what? Simple directions right here. You take your bobbin with the thread coming out on the right hand side, you drop it in and you follow the arrow. You pull the thread through, then you take your little piece and you stick it back in. Now, you hold the thread from your needle and you turn the wheel and it captures the thread and you pull it up. Now you have the needle and the bobbin, and you want a long tail on them, and you're ready to sew. How easy is that? Do you love it? This is so simple. Now if you were really going to sew, of course your thread should match your fabric. But since this is just for demonstration, you, I'm going to show it to you with a different color. So you put your fabric under the presser foot and then you reach up here and flip that down and now it's holding your fabric in place. Now you come over here to this button. This makes it go backwards. You simply hold this down and you want to kind of hang on to your threads so they don't get tangled back in the machine. And go back a few stitches to lock it in and then you go forward. Look at that, you're sewing. Then you just want to guide it through. 
Then when you reach the end of your seam, you want to push this down, go backwards a little bit to lock in your stitches. Turn the knob over here if you want to stop. So you bring your needle up. Then you flip this up, pulls up the foot, you pull out the thread, and you trim it. Ta-da! You're sewing. This Brother XL2610 sewing machine is simple, it's sturdy, and it works great. I have spent lots of hours making covers for patio cushions, sewing up jeans, making costumes for my grandson, and just all kinds of mending and things around the house. This is a little workhorse. So if you're looking for an inexpensive and sturdy machine, check out the brother. You will not be disappointed what you can get. Please subscribe to Alaska Granny and have a wonderful day.